Ladies and gentlemen, the Shadowlands UI is now available for download. For those of you who are like, why would you do this? It does contain all the information for Covenant abilities, special powers, conduits, all the legendaries, all 200 of them, all the soul binds, the other 96 abilities. Basically, anything that can affect your character has been added into the UI, has been tracked appropriately, has been modified and positioned correctly. All that kind of stuff that you might be interested in so that you never have to worry about it, at least for the first tier of the Shadowlands, should be done for you. I will always put out, if you're in the know about your UI, make sure you back it up beforehand. Make sure you're making a copy of your WTF and interface folders before you start messing with the UI in case you don't like it. Please copy those folders in your World of Warcraft directory and save them to your desktop or whatever while you start messing with this. There is a much more efficient way of dealing with this if you only want certain pieces of this UI, and that is to uh, open the PTR. Use that as your test bed because you can just copy and paste. You can have two copies of WoW open at the same time, retail and the PTR, and install weak or whatever on the PTR, which you can then, it doesn't matter if they go wrong, and you can copy and paste them out of there. So the link is down below for everybody who knows what they're doing. It's but We've done it slightly different this time, in my opinion, to make it considerably easier for people to install this UI and then mess around with it and do whatever they want to do. It's nothing special. It's just got all the, the work that's gone into this. has been several weeks across multiple people tracking everything, testing everything. 100% we've definitely made mistakes somewhere. There was a huge amount of stuff to input in this. Always looking for feedback. And bear in mind two things. This UI is designed for the Shadowlands. It will not work until you update your add-ons, particularly LVI and the weak and weak auras to the Shadowlands version. If you just install this on the retail version of World of Warcraft before the pre-patch for those few people who might do that, this is not going to work, okay? It is based on the Shadowlands versions of these add-ons, which won't come into effect until the pre-patch. I've noticed that we chorus have already tweeted out their updated version, so you can get that stuff ready. Please update your add-ons. Please don't contact me saying it's not working. What's going on? You need to have the Shadowlands versions of these add-ons in order to get this thing working. All right. Uh, so I want to get that out of there first of all. Let's jump into what you actually download. You're going to get a Dropbox link and it's going to contain these four things. As I said, I believe we have made this about as easy as we possibly can. You're just going to have these things. So we've reduced the UI from being a big old package where you had to go in and change names on accounts and all that kind of stuff uh, to this. So two things that are going to be here are two text documents, LVI SL UI and LVI SL Healer UI. Uh, now, if you open these, you're just going to have a whole bunch of code. Don't worry about it. Just click in the box, Control A, Control C to copy. Jump into game on retail once you've updated LVI to being the re retail version. And all you're going to do is go into LVI on your screen, click profiles, click import, paste that, click OK, and you're going to be done. That's it. You have the LVI profile. It's really as simple as that. It doesn't involve any of the nonsense we've been doing in the past uh, with package installs and things like that. So if I go into LVI, profiles, you can see profiles down the bottom here, import profile, paste, yeah, import now. Call it whatever you guys want, SLUI test, whatever, to see if you like it. It's entirely up to you. Click accept and done. There's your SLUI. So I just said there's two text documents. So there's the Healer UI as well. Same thing. Control A, Control C. Back into game. And call it, uh, go to LVI profiles, import profile. Paste it. Import now. Accept. You now have the SL Healer UI. So a little uh, note here before we move on to more important stuff. But that is as hard as this is going to be, guys. As long as you have LVI, which you should be getting from their website, uh, that is as difficult as this is going to be in order to get all the all that stuff involved. Um, is that I use spec specific profiles because I I like a different UI from when I'm healing to when I'm DPSing. If you don't like that, it's entirely up to you. I would definitely say we have put more into this uh, UI than is necessary. Uh, that means you guys can delete whatever you don't want. So I'm, I would rather put more in so you guys can delete what you don't want, etc. So you can see here my healer UI is different. So if you go to profiles and see this button here, enable spec profiles, if you click that, you can set which version of LVI you want for each of your, um, your class's talent specializations. So you can see for balance and feral and guardian, I have SLUI. And then for restoration, I have a SL healer, which is this one. And the simple reason is a lot of healers prefer to have this area open to put unit frames in. Um, one change we did make is a lot of people didn't like the way I did it is we have put the action bars back in and they're clearly visible. They were invisible in BFA and a lot of people didn't like that. Even with like weak or is tracking cooldowns and stuff, they like to be able to see their abilities. I agree. Uh, so we put them back in. 
Uh, but if you can see, if I respect a Guardian, for example, my UI is just going to automatically change back to the healer, the, to the DPS and tank version. Et voila. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Uh, I like that very, very much. So that is the LVY substance. Uh, two things I want to mention here. One, in the TDP where I previewed the UI and you guys gave feedback, which we definitely listened to. Thank you very much. Uh, some of you mentioned that uh, you liked the idea that we were going to start using a third-party unit frame for groups and raid. Um, I've gone back on that. Uh, the reason is it took one night of Castle Nathria testing to realize that so many of the bosses contain completely unique and interesting debuffs and buffs, which need to be manually customized into those add-ons. So if you're using Voodoo, Healbot, whatever it might be, you need to whitelist them. You need to add them as specific types of effect. Um, Blizzard's doesn't. It automatically has everything. Now, Blizzard's isn't the best either, but it works perfectly for how I use my UI. And ultimately, if you are after some sort of customized group raid layout for your UI unit frames, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I don't, I'm not going to make an argument for or against. Use whatever you prefer. Uh, but just bear in mind that from my side, one, I'm not going to do that. And I certainly don't want to try and organize updating everybody's different types of unit frames for different debuffs and buffs that come into the game for pve uh, that's not something i want to do at all let's look at the weak auras then so the weak auras you're going to get uh first of all how do you get them again i really recommend the most useful way of uh, sorting this stuff out is one back up your ui i can't say it enough please before you do anything go into your world of warcraft folder you can see mine's here Beta, this, I'm on beta, obviously, because I'm testing this. Uh, but WTF and interface, just copy and paste them to your desktop somewhere. It, just in case something goes wrong, you can always just fall back to your original UI. Just copy and paste them before you do anything. Just copy and paste them. The worst you have to do is everything goes right, and then you click delete on them. That's it. So just back them up. Don't be that guy who's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. Anything can go wrong. It's digital data. Things can happen. Uh, so there you go. WTF and interface, back those up. Anyway... Uh, as, as I said, in the download, you'll have two things. One is the WeCora's LUA file, and the other one is the individual ones. So first of all, how do you get all the WeCora's? Copy, cut, whatever you want to do. Go to your games folder. Copy this, this one here that just says WeCora's, yeah? Go to your games. Go to World of Warcraft. Go to your... It would be retail for you guys, or PTR if you're testing it on the PTR. Uh, but for me, it'd be beta. Uh, go into WTF. Click Accounts. Click on the one you want to add it to, and then go into saved variables. So you can see it's World of Warcraft, beta, PTR, retail, whichever you want to do. Um, account. Then into whichever the account is that is listed for you. Go into saved variables and just paste it in there. You can see it's actually already there for me. Just paste it into there and you have your weak auras. All right, dead easy. However, uh, in case you want to mess with it, you want to cut things out of the weak auras, there are a huge amount, as you can see here. There are lots and lots of things that have been added into this UI. Uh, it says weak auras, including the legendary procs. We have soulbind procs. We've got all your buffs. And all this kind of stuff is all in here. And it does it for every single class. There's a lot here. So let's say you just want to like start chopping and changing things. Have no fears. Go ahead and do that. That is totally fine. Because in the folder as well, and we will keep this up to date. If I go back to the Shadowlands UI folder, you can see here individual weak auras. If you should mess around with, say, Druid resources or Demon Hunter utility spells or whatever, and then you think, ah, I, I screwed it up and I want to go back, they're all in here individually. So if you go to Demon Hunter, there it is. So if you screw up one of the things, don't worry about it. You could just, let's, let's do an example here. So I didn't like the way Mike did uh, the Druid buffs, yeah? So you can see the druid buffs here. Oh no, I didn't like that. But I was trying to get, say, the legendary buffs, all right? I was trying to get the new legendaries and I screwed it up, whatever. So let's say I delete those. Ah, pisser, I've lost my druid buffs. Do I re really need to download the whole UI again? No, absolutely not. Uh, dead easy. If you go into individual weak auras, druid, druid buffs, open it. Control A, Control C. Go into game, weak auras, import, paste it. And it's all back and it's fine. And there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay? Absolutely nothing to worry about. It's all saved and done. So there are a few things I've left out. One is details because it's details. Install it. Put it wherever you want it. Uh, some people prefer different damage meters. Do whatever you want to do. I'm fine with that. Uh, and I haven't put a boss mod in because uh, results from the last one was the least useful piece of information we released in our last UI was, in fact, the boss mod. Some people prefer DBM. Some people prefer bigwigs. 
Use whatever you want. I don't mind. Uh, they're super easy to set up and mess around with. Do as you wish. Um, it was all the main bulk and the weak ores that we wanted to get out to you guys. We will eventually move these to Wago uh, to update them. Uh, it was just in case of the fact that pre-patch is coming and we still were polishing these. Unquestionably, we've made mistakes along the way. Unquestionably, we've made mistakes. So feedback is always relevant. We'll keep it updated. And bear in mind, Blizzard is still balancing the game. We could even see new spells come into the game. Uh, they're going to be changing the legendaries. They're going to be buffing them. They may change some of the effects. Who knows? Conduits are likely to change. Soul binds are likely to change. All these things are very likely to change, which means we'll be ongoing updating this and keeping it up to date uh, as and when things happen in the game. All right, guys. So any problems you find, anything we've missed, because this was a combination of work uh, for several weeks, a number of people, a big shout out to Arza, a member of our community who did a lot of the base work on it. And then I went in and modified and moved things around uh, in order to get things working. Again, we've gone for a, <clears throat> as clean as an aesthetic as we can possibly do. Um, things happen when you're in combat. <clears throat> I give you notifications. So you can see you've got your covenant spells, things like fleshcraft, uh, the abilities that are relevant to you, defensives if you're, and this is a fresh card, so as you can see. Uh, so it will track like important cooldowns, but it won't track everything. <clears throat> and we've also put them on a relatively low opacity, so they're not interfering with your play. All right. So there are a number of very cool features I think you guys will find in this later on. Such as like if you're a Kyrian rogue, we have like the combo points that light up at the exact point. Uh, that all work intricately with how a lot of the stuff in the Shadowlands works. So don't worry too much if you open this and you're like, what is half of this stuff? It's not in the game yet. It'll be here when Shadowlands hits live. This is what this UI is designed for. So I will mention it does not contain weak auras for essences, neck essences. Because they're gone when the Shadowlands comes out. So if you have a weak aura for that, copy and paste it, save it. Do whatever you want to do. Again, open a PTR account and just have everything there so you can grab it as much as you want it. Enjoy, guys. Thank you very much. Feedback always welcome. Bye-bye.